Hello, how y'all doing? It's time for another flashback. This time, Japanese style. This is a Chirica Phoenix Ford Fairlane. Chirica Phoenix was a uh, die cast company in the early to mid 60s in Japan. I've got some models here in front of you. Uh, the first two models are from a company called Asahi. And these are both uh, Toyotas. Uh, they call a Toya Pet. Toya Pet is kind of like a branch of Toyota. I think they sold lesser, you know, cheaper models. And uh, this is a Corona station wagon. Pretty nice rubber uh, rubber tires. Got the smooth uh, hubs. It's got a tin kind of a kind of a tinny bottom. This company was the first company, pretty sure, that uh, went made the transition from tin type cars to die cast. Now, tin type cars like this pullback. I don't know who made this. It could be very well Japanese. Might have been that company. But uh, this is the type of car I'm talking about when I say a tin type. I wonder what that is. A machine gun? You reckon that's a Dick Tracy car? But this other model that's here, this is a, also another Toyo Pet. This is a Crown Deluxe. Looks like a 55 Chevy. It's got uh, no, no moving parts, but uh, still made pretty well. Uh, then uh, I did this one. Uh, I restored this one in an earlier video, previous video. This is a T-Bird. Everybody can see what the, recognize this one. This is a Tasiya company in, uh, in Japan. And it's got a little bit more muscle, a little bit more uh, weight on it, uh, but no moving parts. This model and the one I'm working on, they were made in 1962. Probably about the same time these real cars came out. And then come along Yonazawa. Now, Yonazawa cars, I think they still make those. Now, these uh, are got a little bit more backbone to them. They got some weight, got nice suspension on them. Got moving parts, the trunk opens, the uh, bonnet or hood opens. It's got a die cast that got a metal engine in there. Uh, right hand drive. And then uh, this other version here, this is a little bit later. This is like maybe late 70s, right around 1980. This is what over in the U.S. we call a Mazda RX-7. And they called it a Savannah. Got opening doors. And this one has got pop up lights. That's pretty cool. Now take a look at the, the base on this one. Stamped out. So this one here, the Ford Falcon, it's also got stamped. It says Manika Phoenix. And it's got like a, they stamped this on there, and it looks like two kids maybe. I don't know. There you go. Can you see that right here? It looks like two children, I guess. I'm not sure. Let's see what this looks like. Got a good, uh, pretty well-made body. This one uh, it's got a bent roof. A little bit extra body work on this one. I think this is uh, turquoise and a cream color, maybe an ivory. It's got a plastic window, real flimsy. Not like those dinkies and corgis. This one's really flimsy. Now, speaking of corgis, this interior is just like those old yellow ones they put in them. Same, same material. And the base... 
pretty rusted. And these tires, it's got rubber tires, and it's a, it's kind of a unique system. Let's see. Uh, that one came off pretty easy. Uh, uh, I don't know about those. But take a look at this. These wheels, the tires, got nice tread on them. They're a kind of a four-parter. You got the, got the tire, and this is kind of like a washer, this piece right here. This piece and this white, white wall piece, it's like a washer. They kind of they kind of sandwich the, the, the wheel, the uh, tire, and then you fit this little, uh, this fitting in there. It's got the hole in it. It's got the little hole that goes on the axle. So it's kind of a different uh, method of doing it. It's all good in the end. So, if you want to sit back, stay around with me and see how this one turns out. I'll see you in the next one. Okay, let's get the paint stripped off of this thing. Let's see, let's measure up, see how much water we need. Don't need a lot. Waste not, want not, right? All right, so. What I showed you earlier on those wheels, they had four parts, the tires, there's a hub, and then there's like a washer on each side that squeezes it together. Well, one is like a white wall, one part of it. So I'm gonna strip that off of it, throw it in there. The other, this is the, um, this, these were the, the washers that were on the back side. And I'm gonna put them in this uh, this is called, this is called Evapo Rust, and uh, man, this is good stuff. It's about 20 bucks for a gallon, and it you, it's reusable, you know, and, and it's like you don't even really need to do, use a wire wheel on anything after you soak this in there for a little while. You know, you just take your uh, wire brush, I use a brass one, and it uh, comes right off. We'll let that soak, and we'll get this uh, we'll get this kettle on the stove. Get our water going. All right, let's put this water in here. <clears throat> now, what I use. I don't see too many people in the U.S. using this. They use that stripper, that citrus strip. That stuff isn't worth worth a dime. This we call it sodium hydroxide, caustic soda, lye, same stuff. This is the this is bar none the best stuff that you can use to uh, to do this. Just got to be a little gentle, a little careful with it. I like to do it. There we go. That's when I quit. Let that sit for a little while. Uh, then I'll wire brush it, throw it in at a vapo rust, and let it sit for a little bit. All right, let's check on it. See what we got. See if I can't find those little washer things. Oh yeah, it's coming off. Alright, throw those in the vapo rust along with the, the other wheel parts. Now let's just see what this, come on out. Let's see. Yeah, it's coming. Yeah, coming right off. 
of there. brushes I get are brass brass brushes we have a place called Harbor Freight Tools and it's mostly all Chinese made stuff but it's they're inexpensive and they make some things are good these are like a dollar can't beat it every time I go I get 20 of them throw it in there See how the body turned out. Yeah, it's coming off. Now, I'll tell you, I don't know what kind of uh, metal that they use, but this is interesting. This car, if I'm not mistaken, they paint these seals. They paint them uh, like chrome plate them before they paint them. It's like a laminate that they put on there. So the paint's gone. But, see the wrinkles in the top? They pre they primed it or pre-painted it or something. Uh, this chrome on here. Let's see if I can catch some of it. Come on. Let's see, I'm going to turn this other light on here. Where is it? There we go. Look at that. Isn't that weird? See, now some of it's coming out of the... There it is. It's coming out of the inside. Looks like I have to give it another caustic soda bath. Let's put that back in there. See what it does. I might have to just... Make me a new batch. Before I put that in there, look at this. I'll just cut that. There it comes. You ever seen the likes? It's almost like they wrapped it. Well, it looks like I'm gonna have to try something else because this is the second bath I gave it in the caustic soda, and it didn't it didn't budge that stuff. I mean, it did a little bit. I don't know. I've got some. <clears throat> I got some of that cruddy old uh, paint stripper. It doesn't have the uh, methylene chloride in it. They banned that in the U.S. because we used to have this stuff called uh, aircraft stripper. Man, that stuff would strip to hide off of anything. But somebody out in California stuck their head down in a bathtub using that stripper, and they breathed it and killed them. So they banned it. Well, California rules, so... They banned it everywhere else. So anyway, let me try something else.
Now that's a flashback. Have a good one.